Here's what test optional really means, according to Ivy League admissions offices. What you're about to see was taken from the Penn Admissions YouTube channel, which by the way, has tons of amazing info. You guys should definitely check it out if you have a chance. We know that this year, many students may not be able to take these exams for a variety of reasons. That's why we've changed our testing policy to recognize and acknowledge the challenges to the college application process caused by COVID-19. Penn will not require applicants to submit the SAT, ACT, or SAT subject test for the 2020-2021 application cycle. Applicants who do not submit standardized test scores will not be at a disadvantage in the admissions process. Okay, so I know that they literally just said applicants who don't submit test scores will not be at a disadvantage. But at the same time, my years of experience, in addition to going through the process myself, compels me to tell you that applicants who do submit amazing test scores will definitely enjoy an advantage during the process. In other words, test scores are not a requirement, but if you have them, it's a gold star, cherry on top of your ice cream float, if you know what I mean. If I had to offer one piece of advice regarding standardized tests, it would be first, Pick either the SAT or ACT. Second, take a bunch of practice tests. And then third, just take the actual test one or two times, no more than that. If you have amazing results, send them in. Congratulations, woohoo. If not, stop taking the damn tests and instead start channeling your time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears into other aspects of the application process, such as essays, recommendations, and even senior year grades, which altogether matter way, way more than just one test score.